I'm here today to take over the role of Prometheus in Prometheus Bound. Hey, how are you? I'm Dawn. Hi, Dawn. I'm Terry. I'm the producer and artistic director. Can you tell me about City Lit? We're a small theater company on the north side of Chicago. The first theater in the nation devoted to stage adaptations of literary material. How many productions have you done with City Lit? This is be my 60th. The play we're running now is Prometheus Bound by Aeschylus, world premiere translation by Nicholas Ruddle. And it's a show that he and I have talked about off and on. This production has been percolating in the creative mind of Terry for over 20 years. So I obviously see big puppets. There's Prometheus, who is the savior of the human race. You know, we always thought it was a great idea for this particular play to have the characters who are connected to the human race played by humans and have the other characters who have no connection played by giant puppets. I have to see how these puppets work. Is that something you can show me? Uh, I can't show you, but we have puppeteers here who can show you. All right. Time is running out for the planet Earth. Take me on a tour of the anatomy of this puppet here. So we've got the arms. They are both manipulated with dowel rods. These puppets are nine feet tall, and it takes multiple people to work them. It takes two to make a big puppet go. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What should it be? It takes I'm two going to, to rock big... right now. Oh, yeah, I'm Rob I like Bass, that. and I'm here to get down. Uh, can I try? You certainly may. Oh, my gosh, this is much heavier than uh -huh. I thought. Let's yes. give Greg a scare. <laughs> Greg! Greg, Greg, we're coming for you. Embrace me. <laughs> All right, so now can I actually like be in part of your show? Uh, yeah. I feel very good, number one, that I'm like the headlining character. However, when I find out that mostly my role is just being chained to a mountain, that's when I think it's not gonna be a great day's work. I'm Prometheus. Yes. yes. And then who is this? This is Hephaestus. Hephaestus is the blacksmith of the gods. Do I have a line? Right now you're just really dreading having a spike right. nailed into your chest. I should probably not look so smiley. I knew that I had to get into character, sort of shake off the feeling of the day, and really feel the stake being driven through my heart. How's that? Okay, now you can't be around all of these puppets without getting what I call the puppeteer itch. Now that I've been part of this act as Prometheus, may I puppeteer something? Because I've got an itch to be a puppeteer. Sure. Yeah. I find out that my character actually puts on a hat that is a horse, i.e. horse hat. What am I actually puppeteering? What is this? Uh, you're going to become ocean. The horse hat I hear is seven pounds, and I think that's no big deal since my human head is eight pounds. This should be no problem. Yep, is it on your head securely? I feel it is. So I think I'm done when I just have the horse hat on, but they say, no, please crouch down as low as you can go. And now we are going to put in a pole so that you can manipulate ocean moves. <laughs> Prometheus, I can be trusted because I feel sorry for what is happening to you. These things are much trickier than you would think because they're heavy and you have to be pretty limber uh, to be a puppeteer. If you had to grade me, what would you grade me as it's my first time as a puppeteer? A minus. A minus, I'll take it. Thank you so much. I really think this is gonna be an awesome show and I can't wait to see it all come together when the actual professionals are doing the puppeteering. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming Bye. to play. If I had such an entertaining time actually just seeing this little bit of the show, I cannot imagine how fantastic it's gonna be all put together.